from Richardson, Texas, under the direction of Dale Cyberson, Rich Tone Chorus. It was so different going into the finals this year. Um, lots of us were talking about how we weren't nervous. We were just excited to just go out there and perform. The audience was fantastic. Um, we loved that everyone was sitting closer and we just, yeah, we got a great response from them and that was fantastic. They were a great audience to perform for. Various course members had been suggesting Uptown Funk for a long time. And I don't know, there just didn't seem to be a, a right time for it. And I just went, you know, I want to, let's be happy, let's do Uptown Funk. So we got it arranged, and that was a Cole Kitzmiller arrangement. And he does a great job of capturing what the audience remembers of the actual pop star that did it. And they just love singing it. It's just, it's just silly fun. It really is. For once in my life, I won't let sorrow hurt me, not like it's hurt me before. For once I have something I know won't desert me, I'm not alone anymore. When I ran across for once in my life, um, I, I couldn't get it out of my head. And once I have an earworm, I want to consult an arranger because I've got a, I've got had a notion that would be contest worthy uh, in the right hands. But the problem was it didn't have good form. The problem was it didn't have a verse. So I went to Joy Mitchell and well, she found a, an old YouTube recording of Shirley Bassey uh, singing in a nightclub in Japan. And there was this verse, and that's where it came from. She's a joy to collaborate with, and it's uh, it's a joy to sing. We, the whole our whole theme being resilience, it was a lot about female empowerment and about about finding your finding yourself and finding the strength within yourself to keep going. And that song is absolutely about that. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone. What doesn't kill you makes a fighter. Put steps even lighter. Doesn't mean I'm over, cause you're gone. What doesn't kill you makes you strong. Stronger and stronger. Just be myself and I. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, so that actually came about um, at retreat in April. <laughs> um, we did not have these songs for a really long time um, prior to contest, but we were talking about the whole theme of resilience and um, empowerment. And so Stronger came up. And so we really liked that. We sent it to Cole and um, he arranged that. And we got a full song of it at the end of May. And then um, we we cut a lot of it. <laughs> So um, Aaron did a lot of cutting of lots of our songs. And so we did just a smaller portion of it. And it was great. We really enjoyed doing that one as well. piece. I was talking to Joey and she said, you might be interested to know that I'm collaborating with a new arranger. I'm collaborating with uh, Emily Moriarty. And she says, you've got to hear this thing that she's done. So she sent me uh, this full mix learning media that Emily had done of her first time through on All By Myself that she and Joey had actually worked on together. 
and she said maybe you can help us find a lead that can handle it because it goes down from way low to way high and I said I'm not going to help you find a lead how about my chorus and I said would you be willing to make some changes and the big change I asked them to make in it was to give the melody to the basses in the verse and the chorus would be the leads so that two different ranges and it suited both parts really well uh, it's amazing to work with rangers who will uh, not only help you with your dreams but they're going to do everything they can to help your chorus sound good looking for a song that could go with our theme of resilience and um Aaron Howden actually talked to us quite a bit about joy and sharing our joy and that's what we were at contest to do really was just to share our joy with everyone and our joy of being together our joy of singing again and um so one of our rookies actually um brought this song to us she was on our finals package team and um she was like what about this song we listened to it and we're like Okay, so we sent it to Cole Kitzmiller again. And um, so this is a fun little fact. We received it in July, mid-July. I think two months prior to contest is when we received that arrangement. And um, we started singing it. It fell in place really pretty easily, um, but the tag wasn't right where we really wanted it to be. So Dale worked with Cole, but we got the final tag the Tuesday before contest. <laughs> like the week before, so, but it sang really well and we, we loved doing it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Lots of stories behind them though. We get out there and they're singing so well, I started to giggle. I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. I started to giggle and I actually giggled out loud three times, but the chorus enjoyed it because they knew they were doing well. It was very rewarding. It, uh, it was like coming home. My soul needed you. It just... <laughs> keep dreaming, please, keep dreaming. I just, I love all of you. Thank you so much. You are wonderful to sing for. With a score of 2,929.